Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and this is how quarantining my new Chevron Tang kept everything you see here alive. I just looked at my Chevron Tang and I can't get close enough with this video for you to actually see it. But he's got little tiny white spots on him. And that is ick. And that is why I am so paranoid about quarantining my tank. If I would have put this guy directly into my 210 gallon tank, I would have potentially introduced the ick to everything in my 210 gallon display. Now odds are he brought the ick with him. When I bought him, it wasn't noticeable. When he went into this quarantine tank, it hasn't been noticeable for almost two weeks now. But here he is two weeks in with little white spots. So he obviously had a little bit on his body when I brought it in. And here we are, it's time to dose copper medication. I dosed the copper medication like it said on the Cooper meme bottle. I went to work, worked all night. And when I got home, my Chevron Tang was dead on the bottom right of this tank. So this really sucks. My $150 Chevron Tang that I've been wanting for years has passed on. Now the good news is I followed the quarantine process. He went into quarantine. When he was in quarantine, he got ick. I potentially made mistakes in my quarantine process, but I feel everything I did was right. The important part to this story is that by putting that fish in quarantine, none of the fish in my main display were able to get ick. When the Chevron Tang showed signs of ick, I was able to treat that ick. If it was in this main display, I couldn't have caught him without taking this whole tank apart. At that point, this entire tank would have been contaminated with ick. Rinkins could have got it. My purple tank could have got it. My 10-year-old clownfish could have got it. All of my fish could have got it. And at that point, the only way to fix this situation would be to tear the tank down and pull every fish in this tank out and treat them for ick and then leave this tank fallow for a minimum of two months to get rid of the ick parasites as I cannot use copper medication. So to finish the story with the Chevron Tang, what happened? Well, I don't dose copper medication when the fish goes into the tank at first. Reason being is copper medication is very stressful to the fish. And if I don't have to treat it, I don't want to. Most fish aren't going to get ick. Unless we're talking about tangs. They have a high likelihood of getting it. So I didn't put copper in the tank until I noticed a problem with the Chevron tank. When I looked at him two days ago, I did notice his coloration was a little off but I didn't see anything majorly wrong with him. When I looked at him yesterday, he looked good, he was swimming well, he was eating, he was active, except he had ick. He had white on him. And I suppose with the speed of his death, there is the possibility that it wasn't ick. It could have been marine velvet. I don't know. So I dosed the tank, with Cooper me. I followed the directions on the bottle and you know I did the math in my head so the drops weren't exact but it shouldn't have been enough to kill the fish so it calls for 16 drops for 10 and a half gallons and I figure out that's gonna be 45 ish drops in this 29 gallon tank it's actually a little on the high side but that's okay and you'll notice when you drop these, you'll never get it exactly right. Anyways, 
and then in 48 hours it was calling for me to put another dose into the tank. If you guys have ever watched LA Fish Guy, he's one of the reef gurus as far as I'm concerned as he's been doing this so long and has pretty well dealt with every situation that's come up. He says to dose in half dose increments. One thing I could have done was to half the initial dose and potentially weaned the Chevron Tang on to the copper medication a little more slowly. Problem is, is if the disease was really powerful on this fish, it may have been not enough in time. The other problem is, is if you read the bottle, it's already calling for a half dose increment. So I did what I thought was best. Unfortunately, in this hobby, you can do everything right and you can still lose your fish. And part of the problem is, is hindsight's 2020. When you're in the moment, you have to make these decisions. The one decision I didn't have a choice was I had to use copper-based medication to treat this fish. There was no other way. So the important takeaway from this whole video is I lost my Chevron Tang and that really sucks. But everything you see here is alive today. I have no ick. I have no concerns about ick. There is no way ick or marine velvet or any other disease got in this tank from that fish. There's also the potential that that fish had internal parasites or something else unseen to me that killed it. Nonetheless, my display is fine. All my fish are fine. I lost one fish. It's the worst case scenario working out exactly as you want it. So thank you for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson. Feel free to like, even though it's a bad scenario. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. I'm always making more videos, and I'll see you on the next one.